Well, top of the morning to you. Hello, uh, my name is Andrew Hawkrattle and I will be your host for today in your creative cloud express my goodness words aren't working it's it's, it's early y'all uh so we're gonna be hanging out in creative cloud express today making a menu for your business so if you are um a shop owner if you have a pub this is for you and not only are we going to make a menu today we're doing something we've never done on stream before i'm looking over here because that's right we're gonna actually print it out and assemble it uh, it's gonna be a great stream today so if you love CC, if you love Creative Cloud Express, if you love us, make sure you subscribe, uh, hang out for more great content. Let's go ahead and hop into Creative Cloud Express and where you need to be is a very simple link, express.adobe.com. Um, jump in with us and I do want you to open up one other tab and that tab will be stock.adobe.com slash free. Uh, make sure you put that slash free at the end. We'll give you some, uh, some exclusive goodies. Uh, so let's go ahead and set up our page. Now, what we want to do is we want to create kind of a table topper, right? If you've ever been to a restaurant, you've probably seen almost like a triangle piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to start right here. We're going to go to custom size graphic, and it's going to allow us to pick what size we want. Let's go to print because we're going to be working with a letter size, eight and a half by 11. Um, I think that I actually might want this to be a different orientation. So I'm just going to do custom and I'm going to change this to inches and I'm going to go 11 by eight and a half. Oh, eight, eight point five. There we go. And we're going to hit next. Ba -boom. Look at that. So we have our page here and this is what we need to do. We need to set things up so that we can work efficiently um, so that we can manage our folds, make sure everything looks great. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try to cheat this and set up the areas we need to work before we start working on anything. So let's go over here to design assets. Oh, sorry, to icons. And I'm just going to type in, sure, square works for me. You also could type in rectangle. We're just going to be using this for measurement. So I'm going to grab this square right here by just clicking, and it will put it on our artboard right there. Looks pretty good. And so I'm going to bring this all the way over to the corner, and this is going to be one of my panels, right? So we're going to design this so that it has three panels with maybe a little extra kind of fold over zone. So let's go ahead and just click and drag this all the way down to the bottom here. There we go. Actually, we can drag this up so we just have those lines as well. I'm gonna duplicate it by clicking here on duplicate and we'll click and drag, oops. We'll click and drag this one, there we go, right up to that edge. You can see that it's locking in to that other image right there and it's making it so that it's right up on that edge. So that looks good and let's duplicate one more time. And we're going to use this for our third panel. All right, so we have three sides, three panels. Looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to squish them just a little bit. You can click and drag to select multiple objects. And then I'm just going to drag just a little bit so that we have a little bit of that overlap that we can tape in there, right? So we have our three sections right there, one, two, three, and we will be taking those away, right? We'll be taking those away so that we can manage our folds, but we need to design some stuff first. So what we're gonna do is we are going to start adding images on here. There are some great integrations in Creative Cloud Express, but we're going to leverage the power of Adobe Stock today. So what we can do is we can come over here to stock.adobe.com slash free, and I'm just gonna search, there we go. We got St. Patrick's Day. You can see all the things I've been working on. Workout stuff and St. Patrick's Day. So we're gonna click on St. Patrick's Day right here, um, or you can type that in, and it's gonna come up with all kinds of great resources for us that are free. Look at that. So we are going to click over here on illustrations because we wanna add some illustration to our, uh, to our menu. So from here, we can kind of click and scroll until we find something that we like. Um, Let's see. Uh, okay. Yeah, these are here. Let me keep looking. Let's look at vectors and see if anything is in there. So as we scroll down, it's going to create some nice patterns. Uh, maybe let's use, ooh, these tickets. These tickets are really fun. So let's use these tickets, and then maybe we'll use some of these uh, clovers. Not oh, These are shamrocks. I don't know the difference. But we're going to use this one. These are really cool. So we're going to hit license right here. 
And what this is going to do is it's going to sync into a Creative Cloud library. So you can see right here, it says saving to default library. If you need to, you can click on manage and pick a different Creative Cloud library. If you've never set one up, that's fine. As long as you're logged in, you'll be able to manage that Creative Cloud library. Um, so this is a vector it has taken into Adobe Illustrator. So I can actually, I believe, download this as a different file type. Let's see here. Um, so I do want to try to get this as a JPEG. So let's see if I can click on settings right here and I'm gonna download a JPEG. So we're gonna hit save and I'm gonna re-download that for free. Redownloading. There we go. So it's downloaded down here. And what we can do now is we're actually going to import that into Creative Cloud Express. And Creative Cloud Express has a great feature that allows us to um, allows us to remove the background. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and go to upload photo here. And then we are going to go into our downloads. And I'm going to click on that stock image that I just created right here. So we're going to hit OK. And now we have all of these gorgeous tickets. These are looking good. So let's go ahead and see if we can remove the background here. Let's go up here to remove background and let's see what happens. Dun, 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 dun. Boom. All right, so it has removed all that white. It took out some of the other pieces and we could restore if we wanted to. We can just click and drag over this area that has kind of painted out and is part of the ticket. Um, and it will restore that area in for us. So if we ever need to do that, very, very easy. Um, but it looks like we've got a pretty good cutout um, and we're going to hit the check mark. So the reason I say that we have a good cutout is because I only really want one of these. So I can come over here to crop and shape and I can actually just drag it in to one of these tickets. So this one actually looks really good. I like the way that that one works. Let's go there. And then can I crop it down? Let's go free form. There we go. And crop it down right there. Sweet. So we've got a nice little ticket that maybe let's put at the bottom here. And as we work, we are going to make a co three copies of these, right? Um, and oh, I forgot about my libraries. Thank you to our live chat. Uh, if you're also, if you're watching this after the fact, we do have a live chat uh, here on the streams. We have behance.net slash Adobe Live. Uh, you can hang out with us and engage in the live chat. And thank you, I forgot about our libraries. So instead of uploading it, we could have gone to libraries right here and it will show the assets that are synced. Um, so it didn't sync that because it is a vector. So I'm just gonna go to illustrations and let's say that we do want to maybe put in uh, one of these pieces. So I can license it and it will sync to that Creative Cloud library. I got distracted. Uh, so it syncs to our library right here. It also has downloaded it. We don't need to worry about the download right now. We're gonna come back to Adobe Creative Cloud Express and right here in assets, we're gonna click on view all. And this is my CCX, you can see right there. I can simply click right here and boom, it has added that in for us. So it's added that in straight out of Adobe Stock into a library, then straight into Creative Cloud Express. That's uh, super easy. And I do want these little banners up here. These banners are super fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and crop in on one of these banners. And this is just a great way to be able to remove things uh, and to grab little pieces that you may want of different elements. So we're gonna click there, we're going to hit okay. And then I'm gonna remove background and see if it will take out those extra little pieces. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's just, it's just, it's just taken. So let's do this. Let's, let's restore and see if we can grab uh, this up here. Let's see, let's see how we do. All right, let's, you know what? Let's, let's leave the banner here. That looks, it looks pretty okay to me. All right, so we're gonna leave this banner up here. It's a little bit wonky, but we'll leave it for now. Um, and we're gonna leave that banner right there. So it looks good. Now we need to add in some text. So let's add in that text and let's click right here and let's just start adding in text. So we could pick one of these that kind of give us a little bit of a vibe, uh, paragraphs, phrases. I don't think we really want any of these. Um, 
we could use them. They are great if you don't want to start from scratch. Um, actually, look at this. There's options for menus. Let's look at some options for menus because maybe we'll use this one. Sure, let's use this one. So let's click here on this menu and boom, look at that. It has given us a menu. Very little work on our part. That's the that's the best part about Creative Cloud Express. Uh, Team Wonky, yes, thank you. Thank you to our friends in chat saying we're on Team Wonky. Uh, all right, so we have this here and we're gonna center it right in that menu right there, looks good. So with these, it is a group. So we're gonna need to click in here to see what we want to uh, change and what we want to work with. So we're gonna double click and I do wanna make sure that I have some delicious snacks in here. Um, and so we are going to do, um, oh gosh, what what's it called? Um, corn beef, I think corn beef, oops, I clicked on the wrong piece. We wanna make sure we have starter selected right there. There we go. Uh, so let's do apps. And then let's go ahead and change this to corn beef and cabbage. Cabbage? Sure. Uh, that might be how you spell it. And we're going to make that $5. So we're just typing that in. And you can see that it's getting a little bit crazy over here. So let's zoom in and see what is happening. Right now, everything is grouped together and it looks like things are getting a little bit weird and off. So I'm going to go ahead and ungroup everything. So we're gonna click here, oops, right there. And we are just going to click up here to ungroup. So we're ungrouping things, ungrouping things. And there we go. I think that we have the pieces that we need and we can kind of click and drag them around. There we go. So let's do the apps right here. We've got our corned beef and cabbage. And I do wanna make sure that this goes all the way out so that it's center aligned, right? You can see that it's center aligned and it will snap that bounding box, right? The area around the text into the right place. Uh, and someone, yes, is saying haggis. Let's for sure do some haggis. So I can just click on duplicate very easily and it will duplicate that for me. Um, and I can type in here and we can have a little bit of haggis. Oh, it's Scottish. It's Scottish, thank you. It does sound delicious though. So we're gonna make it $3, it's gonna be delicious. Um, all right, so let's keep going here and we can change some of these mains. So maybe for the mains we want to have, uh, I kind of just want fish and chips. It feels, it feels right. And that's gonna be, what's gonna be $11. So we're just typing in different prices. And if you're working with a menu, you obviously can use your actual prices, your actual dishes. Um, super easy and it's corned beef. Thank you, yes, corned beef, Andrew. Thank you. Corned beef and cabbage, there we go. All right, so this is looking pretty good. We've got apps, we've got some corned beef and cabbage. We've got our mains. Let's add in one more main here. Uh, and we gotta have, uh, we gotta have, the, this is just the one that I want at every restaurant. Um, this is uh, this will this is very telling of who I am as a person. Just chicken strips. That's all I want. I don't want I don't want anything fancy. I just want chicken strips. Uh, and I know that this isn't like the correct answer, but it's the right answer. It's the right answer for me. So we're just going to pull this down, and you'll see that it's actually changing the size. Uh, that's okay. We'll we'll rearrange this as we need to. So we'll make it centered there, and make sure that you can see nine point four is the size on this. And we want to make sure that matches down here to our other pieces. So we'll change this to 9.5 as well. There we go. And let's go ahead and just bring this out a little bit. And right there. So looking good. All right. So we've got some, some options here. And yes, you want those nuggets. Desserts, uh, we got to have that shamrock shake. So we'll type that in right here. That's one of my favorite things of all time. Uh, shamrock shake, got it. It's gonna be a, a nice, cool $3 as well. So that is going to be our dessert right there. And maybe we want to add in some extra pieces and kind of explore some other things. So we've got our ticket down there. We've got this, we have our lines, which are looking good. They will be going away, um, but let's add one more element down here, which maybe could be um, a clover. Uh, maybe we do, let's, let's see here. Let's see what's in here. Let's do a clover as an icon. Oh, potatoes, let's do a potato. Let's see if there's any good potatoes. I'm a potato, potato. 
let's see here. We're looking in design assets to see if we can find an illustration and we cannot. Uh, so we're just gonna click on icons. Uh, we are gonna use, let's use a clover as much as I want to do a, a potato. So we're gonna do a clover and we're just gonna drop this down in the bottom. So we'll click right there. And we're gonna sample this color that's on the ticket. And the way that we can do that is just click on color. And then we're gonna click right here on this little eyedropper tool. And it will allow us to hover over and we can see that we can grab that green right there looking good and then we'll drop that right in the center all right so this looks pretty good it looks a little bit crazy um with the all these lines but what we're going to do now is i'm going to leave these lines and i'm actually going to make a nice little icon of we're going to do line and we are going to type in or we're going to grab a line here just a vertical line and i'm actually going to use this as the dividers so we're just going to drag this up here and i'm going to use this as a divider to make sure i know where to fold so we're going to duplicate that right here and then we'll duplicate that one more time over here and what i should have done that i didn't do right away is i'm actually going to make these a very very light gray so we're going to select all three holding shift um, and we're going to group them and I can double click in and we're just going to make this a very, very light gray. So you'll still be able to see it, but we'll be able to see it on our folds. So we're going to double click here and boom, there we go. So we have our light grays. That looks great. Now what we need to do is make three copies of all of this content. So we're just going to click and drag over all these pieces. And you can see that it selected all those pieces for us and I'm going to group them together. So from there, we are going to duplicate and I'm going to bring it over one time right here. Looks good. And then I'm going to bring it over one more time right over here. All right. So now we see we have all the pieces that we need. That's looking pretty good to me. And I'm going to actually delete our lines now because we can see where we need to uh, put those. Let me move this real quick. Here's we need to get these little lineies out of here. Actually, we're going to leave them for now. Uh, let's let's look at the let's look at the option right here. So this is going to show us the layer. We can actually just come in and delete those layers. So if you click, you can select your layers and we can grab those boxes and delete them really easily. All right. So now we have three. We have our extra little piece right here. We've got a couple minutes left. Let's see what happens. So the easiest way to do this is we could go to download and we could go to PDF. So if you see here, it says PDF is best for printing, high quality, that's what we want. We're going to click on start download and it will download that for us. Please wait while we prepare your download. Dun, 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 dun. All right, we did it. So we're downloaded here. I'm going to click to open up and you can see, boom, we have this awesome piece that is our project. I'm going to click right here on the printer and we are going to uh, send this to my printer right here. Everyone cross your fingers. Let's hope this works. We're going to hit on print and let's see what happens. Okay. All right. Here we go. It, the sound is happening off screen. I'm just going to narrate off screen for you. There's a sound happening. It's thinking about a thing. <gasps> it's happening. Can you hear it? You can probably hear it and it's probably so loud. So we're printing this out. And as you can see, straight out of Creative Cloud Express, we used libraries. All right, let's hit that full screen. Let's hit that, uh, there we go. Look at that. So we got it printed out. It is looking fantastic. And hopefully you have printed yours as well. I'm simply going to bend the edges, right? We're gonna bend it to those points and try to make, a little menu. Y'all just know that I'm insanely excited about this um, because it's totally gonna work 100%. All right, so we have our little piece over here as well that we're gonna fold in. What fun, what fun we're having this morning. So we're gonna fold this extra little flap in. There we go. And if I had some tape, uh, which I do, maybe I'll tape it, look at, we did it. It's a little table topper. Let's see if we can get that to focus on you guys. Look at, we did a little table topper, super easy, very quickly in Creative Cloud Express. 
We did it. I, I can't believe that it worked. I'm really glad that it worked, um, but it totally worked. And I do have tape. And of course, I'm going to do this because I'm I'm proud of how of how we created here. Let me. All right, we'll do one more thing, then I'll show you something else in Creative Cloud Express. But I do want to tape this real quick so we can all see our little table topper menu. Look at that. Super easy, super quick, and super fun. All right, let's hop back over into Creative Cloud Express. <clears throat> and I do want to show you um, how you could share this. So let's say that we wanted to uh, share this with a client, right? We're working with someone on this menu, we want to get some reviews. We can click on share right here, and there are a whole bunch of different options. So we could make a template so that if we wanted to make other menus, it would save to our library. So if I click on make template, we're going to type in menu template. And then we're going to save it to our CCX library. So I'm going to save. And now you can see in our libraries, if we open this up, it is going to, one more back, there we go. Uh, it is going to show us that there are templates. Oh, why would it allow us add a template? There we go. It's gonna add the template right here, menu into our Creative Cloud library. So we can come back and anytime that we need it, there will be some uh, templates there for us for that menu. So another way that we can share it with our friends is going to share and then clicking on publish and publish is going to share it to social media. So this is something I could post Facebook, Twitter, any of these things, we could send a link to it and it would be an option that you would be able to uh, get some review, get some help. You also could invite. So if there's another collaborator that was working on this with you, you could invite them and be able to work with you on this menu. Also, we can send it to Google Drive if we need to. There's so many options. Um, so I do wanna review one more time how we went from having a stock image into our Creative Cloud Express. So you can always look in here for photos, right? But when we look for St. Patrick's Day in here, I don't believe that it uh, turned up anything that we wanted to use. So it has some elements in here, but it really focuses on searching photos, right? So if you want little illustration pieces, sometimes we can go into uh, design assets but I believe that we didn't have the selection that we wanted here either. So it has some pieces in here, but not quite what it has on stock. And so if we want something on stock, all you need to go do is go to stock.adobe.com slash free, and we can select uh, one of these images. So let's grab these. We click on license. And then when this pop-up happens, make sure pop up, there we go. Make sure that you can go into manage right here and set it to your Creative Cloud library that you've created. If you don't have one, you can name it and it will sync over into Creative Cloud Express. Um, so I actually really, really like that banner that we just grabbed. And so I'm gonna replace this banner that we have here. So let's ungroup this real quick. Boom, and we're gonna delete, we're gonna delete, we're gonna delete. And then we can come up here and again, we're just going to go over to our libraries and we have our assets right here. We're gonna click on view all. It is going to sync those assets and now we have our flags. So I'm gonna bring this up one last time and I'm going to grab this flag here. So let's see if we remove the background, if it's gonna take that white out of the images. Uh, a little bit too much. So let's see here. Um, let's try, let's try to restore a little bit and see see what it grabs. We can go in there and paint each individual piece, uh, but it's gonna take us some time. And actually, because it's white, we could actually cheat this a little bit. We can change the blending mode right here to multiply because it has a white background and it will make it so that that background is technically see-through. Look at that, look at us cheating. Uh, so if anytime you need to get rid of some white, um, use the multiply blending mode and we could just go in here again and we could crop it so that we only have that one little piece of our flag showing. And then again, we're just going to duplicate that so that we have a couple copies and this looks much, much better. I actually like this way better than what we had. So we've still created our menu. It is looking good. And y'all. The fact that we got here in 20 minutes together, actually making a tabletop or menu, it's the power of Creative Cloud Express. Look at that, we did it. 
20 some minutes. So go make a menu, play around with Creative Cloud Express, explore your libraries and the syncing from Adobe stock. And I will see you at another time for some more Creative Cloud Express content. Make sure you like to subscribe in whatever, I don't know. Uh, have a great St. Patrick's Day and I will see you all on another stream. Bye.